good morning students welcome back to english class students today we are going to revise the second chapter in literature part what we are going to do we are going to revise second chapter do you know what is the second chapter yes you are right the second chapter is a lesson it's a prose okay the second chapter is everything is possible everything is possible students before going to uh, before going to do revision uh, all of you take your class work note okay okay students now we are going to revise the first uh, pattern of this chapter that is synonyms what do you mean by synonym synonym means meaning okay meanings let's do the first one the first one is safari what is the first one the first one is safari the meaning of safari is a trip to see wild animals what is the meaning the meaning of safari is a trip to see wild animals okay let's move to the second one enquired what is the second one enquired the meaning of enquired is asked for information asked for information let's move to the third one puzzled what is the third one third one is puzzled the meaning of puzzled is feel confused what is the meaning the meaning is feel confused let's move to the fourth one lush the fourth one is lush the meaning of lush is have a lot of green grass or plants what is the meaning of lush have a lot of uh, green grass or plants let's move to the fifth one monsoon showers what is the fifth one it is monsoon showers the meaning of monsoon showers is rainy season okay what is the meaning of monsoon showers it means rainy season let's move to the last one fat what is the last one fat the meaning of the meaning of fat is performed what is the meaning performed okay students once again i am repeating all the one just uh, listen carefully first one is safari the meaning of safari is a trip to see wild animals second one enquired the meaning of enquired is ask for information third one is puzzled the meaning of the word puzzled is feel confused and the fourth one is lush the meaning is have a lot of green grass or plants fifth one is monsoon showers it means rainy season and the last one fat it means performed students when you reading whatever read it four or four, uh, four or five times then only you can easily understand the words and its meaning students uh, the first pattern is over now we are going to revise the second pattern of this chapter that is antonyms what do you mean by antonym it means opposites okay let's see one by one look at the first one the first one is possible what is the first one it is possible the opposite of possible is impossible what is the opposite of possible impossible okay impossible let's move to the second one timid what is the second one timid the opposite of timid is bold the opposite of timid is bold let's move to the third one friend okay what is the third one friend the opposite of friend is enemy what is the opposite of friend it is enemy let's move to the fourth one men okay what is the fourth one it is men the opposite of men is women okay the opposite of men is women let's move to the fifth one 
that is love what is the fifth one love the opposite of love is hate okay let's uh, move to the sixth one that is true what is the sixth one true the opposite of true is false what is the opposite of true false let's uh, move to the last one never the opposite of never is ever okay students again i'm repeating all the seven so listen carefully first one is possible the opposite of possible is impossible and the second one is timid the opposite of timid is bold and the third one is friend the opposite of friend is enemy and the fourth one is men the opposite of men is women and the fifth one is love the opposite of love is hate and the sixth one is true the opposite of true is false and the last one is never the opposite of never is ever students read it four or five times and uh, write in your home test note or any rough note without seeing the answers then only you can easily understand the opposites and uh, you know the words and its spelling also students uh, now we are going to revise the third pattern of this chapter that is idioms what do you mean by idiom idiom is a group of words which gives special meaning okay what do you mean by idiom idiom is a group of words but it gives special meaning okay students two idioms are given in this chapter let's see one by one the first one is on top of the world what is the first one on top of the world the meaning is extremely happy what is the meaning of this idiom it is extremely happy when we use these words extremely happy instead we can use the idiom on top of the world okay students if you you if you use uh, the words like extremely happy you can use idiom you can instead you can use the idiom on top of the world okay students let us see the example i was on top of the world after my dance performance it means i was top of i was uh, i was on top of the world it means i was extremely happy after my dance performance extremely happy instead of using this word we used on top of the world okay let's see the second one a piece of cake what is the second idiom a piece of cake the meaning of this idiom is easy to do what is the meaning easy to do uh, when we use the words like easy to do instead we can use the idiom a piece of cake let us see the example solving crossword puzzle is a piece of cake for me it means uh, solving crossword puzzle is easy to do for me so easy to do instead we have used a piece of cake students uh, two idioms are given one is on top of the world and the second one is a piece of cake uh, the meaning of a uh, on top of the world is extremely happy the example is i was on top of the world after my dance performance let's move to the second one a piece of cake the meaning of this idiom is easy to do and the example is solving crossword puzzle is a piece is a piece of cake for me students now we are going to revise the fourth pattern of this chapter that is verb forms uh, students uh, three forms are there one is v1 v2 and v3 v1 means present tense v2 means past tense and uh, v3 means past participle 
okay students four words are given let's see one by one look at the first one fall <coughs> the given word is fall it means present tense is fall the past tense of fall is fell what is the past tense of fall the past tense of fall is fell and the past participle of fall is fallen f a l l e n fallen present tense is fall past tense is fell past participle is fallen let's move to the second one teach present tense is teach the past tense of teach is taught t a u g h t taught and the past participle is also taught present tense is teach past tense is taught past participle of teach is also taught let's move to the third one read the present tense is read past tense of read is read r e a d read we have to pronounce read in past tense okay in present tense we have to pronounce read for past tense read and the past participle of read also read and the fourth one is think the present tense is think the past tense of think is thought okay thought t h o u g h t thought and the past participle of think is also thought students once again i am repeating all the four so listen carefully uh, look at the first one the present tense is fall the past tense of fall is fell the past tense of fall the past tense of fall is fell the past participle of fall is fallen look at the second one the present tense is teach the past tense of teach is taught the past participle of teach is also taught look at the third one the third uh, present tense is read the past tense of read is read the past participle of read is also read and the fourth one think present tense is think the past tense of think is thought the past participle of think is also thought students after reading this pattern you have to write in home test without seeing the answers you can practice in home test okay okay students now we are going to revise the last pattern of this chapter that is answer the following questions look at the first one what did angelis father do what did angelis father do and the answer is angelis father was the commissioner of junagar students junagar means it is a city okay it is a city name what do you mean by commissioner commissioner means head of the administration city administration uh, it takes care of the people it takes care of the society and uh, it checks all the people uh, are following the rules or not so totally it takes care of the city and people of junagar what students what did anjali's father do anjali's father was the commissioner of junagar anjali's father was the commissioner of junagar students let's move to the second question that is what was one of the many things that anjali liked about junagar what is the second question what was one of the many things that anjali liked about junagar let us see the answer anjali loved the lion safari to the gar sanctuary which was just 2 hours drive out, drive from the city okay students already uh, we know the meaning of safari what do you mean by safari it means true uh, what do you mean by safari it means uh, it is a small trip to see the wild animals what do you mean by lion safari it means it is a small trip to see the lions okay sanctuary what do you mean by sanctuary 
sanctuary means it is a place not only a place it is a protection place for animals so anjali loved the lion safari to the gur sanctuary gur is a name of that sanctuary which was just 2 hours drive from the city okay students again i am repeating the same question and answer so listen carefully what was one of the many things that anjali liked about junagar anjali loved the lion safari to the gur sanctuary which was just 2 hours drive from the city students now we are going to revise the third question that is how did anjali help pinky learn to read and write what is the third question how did anjali help pinky learn to read and write students already we know the story of this chapter um in this story we know that anjali invited pinky to her house and anjali said to pinky that i will help you pinky i will help you how to read and write so in uh, during rainy season also the girls are staying inside and practicing reading and writing and one more thing students every day anjali brings new books from her school library and uh, she reads the books to pinky and she gave all her old story books to pinky so the same thing uh, the third answer is anjali invited pinky in the afternoon to her place that means anjali invited anjali called pinky in the afternoon to her house then she would read uh, she would read stories to her she even brought books from the library and read them to pinky she also gave pinky all her st- all her old story books students again i'm repeating the same question and answer so listen carefully how did anjali help pinky learn to read and write answer is anjali invited pinky in the afternoon to her place there she would read stories to her she even brought books from the library and read them to pinky she also gave pinky all her whole story books students now we are going to revise the last question that is how do you think pinky's life changed after anjali helped her what is the fourth question how do you think pinky's life changed after anjali helped her and answer is pinky's life changed completely after anjali began to teach her how to read and write students what happened after teaching to pinky pinky's life is totally changed okay anjali started to teach her how to read and write after pinky's life is totally changed it means completely changed and uh, now pinky pinky can read and write on her own okay students again i am repeating the same question and answer so listen carefully how do you think pinky's life changed after anjali helped her and the answer is pinky's life changed completely after anjali began to teach her how to read and write uh, students chapter 2 is over now we are going to revise uh, some topics in grammar part so all of you be ready with your grammar book uh, students now we are going to revise nouns what do you mean by noun a noun is the name of a person name of a place name of an animal name of a thing name of an idea or feeling what do you mean by noun a noun names a person a place an animal a thing or an idea or feeling okay what do you mean by noun a noun names a person names a place names an animal names a thing names an idea or feeling okay students let us see some examples doctor doctor is a 
now it comes under the category person next example is school school is an school is a place so it comes under the category place okay school is a place and the next one is kitten kitten is a kitten is an animal so it comes under the category animal and the next example is orange orange comes under the category thing and the last one is joy joy means it and it comes under the category feel okay students again i'm repeating a noun names a person a place an animal a thing idea or feeling students let's do the exercise look at the heading find the odd one among the given nouns and circle it what do you want to do you want to find the odd one it means you want to circle the words that are not nouns in each set so three sets are given here in each set an a word circle the word that is not a noun uh, let us see the first one four words are given in these four words uh, just one word is not a noun you want to find out and then circle it let us see the first one baby students uh, is baby a noun or not baby is a noun it comes under the category person and next one is school school is also a noun it comes under the category place third one is eat the word eat is not a noun so circle the word eat and the last one is pencil pencil is a noun so students what is the answer for the first one eat because eat is not a word uh, not a uh, it is not a noun let's put the second one city students city is a noun because it comes under the category place and the next one is couple couple is also a noun okay couple is a boy name so it is a noun and the next one is dog dog is also a noun and it comes under the category animal slow slow what do you mean by slow slow is not a noun okay so circle the word slow let's move to the third one delhi delhi is a noun because it comes under the category place india india is also comes under the category place okay it is a country name okay let's move to the next word that is book book is also a noun and it comes under the category thing and the fourth one is talk talk is not a noun so circle the word talk students now we are going to revise common nouns before going to revise uh, already we learned about nouns okay and we know what is noun what are nouns then what do you mean by common nouns common nouns or names common names of people common names of places common names of animals or common names of things okay what do you mean by common nouns common nouns or names of people places animals or things that are of general class okay what do you mean by common nouns common nouns or names of people places animals or things that are of general class simply we can say that common names of people common names of places common names of animals or common names of things is known as common nouns let us see some examples student student is a common noun okay because we didn't mention any particular name of that student simply we said student it it is a common and city it is a common name next one is book it is a common name elephant dog cat pen bat ball toys etc students these examples are comes under the category common nouns because we didn't specify any particular name for these examples simply we mentioned as common 
what do you mean by common noun common noun is the name of place animal people or things that are of general class students now we are going to revise proper nouns what do you mean by proper noun a proper noun is the name given to a specific person specific place specific animal okay it is a particular name of a person particular place name particular animal name what do you mean by proper noun a proper noun is the name given to a specific person place or animal okay students let us see some examples of proper noun examples are jenny jenny is a proper noun because it is a particular girl name and next one is mumbai mumbai also comes under the category proper noun because it is a particular place name and the third one is london london is also a place name particular uh, place name and the fourth one is meera meera is a particular girl name and the last one is diwali diwali is a particular festival name so students these examples are these examples these examples comes under the category these examples come under the category proper nouns students uh, let us see some more examples of proper nouns look at the first one names of rivers names of rivers also come under the category proper nouns look at the examples godavari narmada kaveri these are rivers name okay these are also proper nouns students one more thing a proper noun always starts with a capital letter the first letter should be capitalized by capital letter okay the first letter should be in capital letter for proper nouns look at the second point names of the days and the months are also proper nouns names of the days and the months are also proper nouns for example sunday and march sunday is the particular day and march is also particular month okay look at the third point names of oceans also proper nouns for example pacific ocean indian ocean atlantic ocean let us see the next point names of the seas for example arabian sea baltic sea let's move to the next point names of famous buildings and monuments for example india gate taj mahal and uh, names of books films and the uh, names of newspapers are also proper nouns for example alice in wonderland it is a book name okay and the next one is the lion king and zootopia or the films and the next uh, example is the indo it is a newspaper name so students names of books films and newspapers or also comes under the category proper noun and look at the next point names of languages for example uh hindi tamil french telugu these are all languages and examples of proper nouns let's move to the next point names of festival and names of special days for example uh, christmas diwali these are festivals independence day republic day or examples of uh, special days it means examples of um, proper noun okay students uh, let's do the exercise look at the heading write the given nouns in the correct categories what is the heading write the given nouns in the correct categories students some nouns are given here some are proper nouns some are common nouns so totally 10 nouns are given here first of all we have to read the nouns properly okay we have to read the nouns properly afterwards uh, one table or column is given here okay one table or column for example if a noun is common you can write in the first column if it is a proper write in the second column okay two columns are there one is common one is proper if the noun is common you can write in the common noun if it is proper write in the proper nouns column okay let us see what are the words 
रोस कैलाश बर्ड चारमीनार स्कूल ऑस्ट्रेलिया दिवाली बस पाटना मार्च स्टूडेंट्स टोटली टेन नाउंस और देर नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू राइट द करेक्ट नाउंस इन द करेक्ट कैटेगरीज लेट एस सी द फर्स्ट वन रोज इज रोज कॉमन और प्रॉपर यस रोज इज ए कॉमन नाउन ओके सो राइट द नाउन रोज इन द कॉमन नाउन कॉलम इन फर्स्ट कॉलम ओके कॉमन नाउन और फर्स्ट कॉलम राइट द नाउन रोज लेट्स मोट द नेक्स्ट नाउन दैट इज कैलाश कैलाश इज कैलाश कॉमन और प्रॉपर Kailash is a proper noun because it is a particular boy name. And and uh, one more thing, the first letter is in capital letter, so it is a proper noun. Write the noun Kailash in proper noun column. Let's move to the third one, bird. Is bird column? Uh, is bird common or proper? Yes, you are right. Bird is a common noun, so write the noun bird in the common noun category. Let's move to the fourth one, Charminar. Is Charminar common or proper? Charminar is a proper noun. Okay, so write the noun Charminar in the proper noun category. Let's move to the next word that is school. Is a school common or proper? Yes, school is common noun. So write the noun school in common noun category. Let's move to the next one, Australia. Students, what is the answer? Is it uh, common or proper? Yes, you are right. Australia is a proper noun, and the first letter, and the first letter is in capital letter. So write the noun Australia in the proper noun category. Let's move to the next noun that is Diwali. Students, what is the answer? Is Diwali common or proper? Yes, it is proper noun. So write the noun Diwali in proper noun category. Let's move to the next noun that is bus. Is bus a common or proper? Yes, you are right. Bus is a common noun. So what we have to do? We have to write the noun bus in the common noun category. Let's move to the four, uh, ninth one that is patna. Is Patna common or proper? Yes, you are right. Patna is proper noun because it is a particular place name, and the first letter is in capital letter. So write the noun Patna in the proper noun category. Let's move to the last one that is March. Is March common or proper? Yes, you are right. March is a proper noun because it is it is the name of the month. so write the noun march in the proper noun category students now we are going to revise abstract nouns what do you mean by abstract nouns an abstract noun is the name of an action quality or state simply we can say that an abstract noun is a word uh, which names uh, something that you can't see you can't hear you can't touch you can't smell or you can't taste what do you mean by abstract noun it is a word which names something that you cannot see hear touch smell or taste simply we can say that uh, it is a type of noun which is not identified by our body parts or any sense organs let us see some examples here uh, fear fear care joy love youth truth honesty cleverness hunger sadness anger greed these are all examples of abstract nouns students let's do the exercise look at the heading fill in the blanks with these abstract nouns fill in the blanks with these abstract nouns students uh, three abstract nouns are given inside the box 
with the help of these abstract nouns we have to complete the following sentences okay let us see what are the abstract nouns given inside the box kapil truth anger these three are abstract nouns with the help of these three nouns we are going to complete the following sentences look at the first sentence she is telling the dash to us she is telling the dash to us students you have to choose any one abstract noun from the given three so which one is suitable for the first one peace truth anger which one she is telling the truth to us she is telling the truth to us so the first answer is truth okay remaining two words are there and two sentences are there read the sentence and write the correct answer second one is i know you are dash but you have to be calm i know you are dash but you have to be calm students two uh, two nouns are there so which one is correct for the second one yes you are right the second answer is anger i know you are anger but you have to be calm okay students remaining one noun is there and one sentence is there so obviously the answer is peace the dove is a symbol of dash the dove is a symbol of peace students uh, today we have revised second chapter in literature that is everything is possible uh, not only uh, in literature but also we have revised some topics in grammar that is nouns common nouns proper nouns and abstract nouns in uh, grammar part students i hope you understood we will meet on next class with a new topic thank you